For 37 years, she went unidentified, called the buckskin girl by police because of the distinctive buckskin jacket she was wearing when she was murdered. The decades-old case finally cracked using groundbreaking techniques, not by lead detectives, but by two retirees in California. What is the emotions that you go through as you solve these cases? You're a genealogist, you're puzzling out all these relationships, but then when you finally connect and you find her mother's 80 years old and has not changed her phone number for 37 years, hoping her daughter would come home, that you can't help but, you know, be emotional about that. Colleen Fitzpatrick, a former NASA contractor and PhD in physics, is widely regarded as the founder of forensic genealogy. She now runs the DNA Doe project out of her home in Orange County. So we'll have to organize the, the volunteers on those cases. Co-founder Margaret Press, who has a PhD in linguistics, lives in Northern California. The two met on a social media site dedicated to genealogy. Through Facebook. Isn't that how everybody meets each other? Not long after, they decided to join forces and tackle some of the thousands of John and Jane Doe cases in the U.S. Colleen's connections to law enforcement presented the pair with their first lead, and the DNA Doe project was born. We started out with John and Jane Doe simply because um, we thought it would be more acceptable to the genealogy community. That's because they say some genealogists find the idea of working with police problematic with ethical and privacy issues. It's more like the attitude was, oh my God, law enforcement has my DNA, what's gonna happen now? Currently, consumer sites like 23andMe refuse to let law enforcement access data or let users upload any DNA that is not their own. So investigators have come to rely on privately owned family history sites like GEDmatch to find family members and solve crimes. It make it as if those John and Jane Doe's had tested with those companies without really having tested with those companies. GEDmatch is aware of how Colleen and Margaret use its database. In the case of the buckskin girl, police sent some of the victim's blood collected after her murder to a lab that generated a DNA profile. That profile was then handed off to the DNA Doe project. And four hours later, distant cousins identified and the buckskin girl had a name. Knowing that they're no longer a doe, they're no longer a, a body in an unmarked grave, they're about to get their own headstone and be returned to their rightful place in the story of their own family. Now that police have identified the buckskin girl as Marcia King, they can focus on finding her killer. If the killer left some DNA behind, an arrest in the Golden State Killer case. We were able to get some discarded DNA. A manhunt spanning decades is finally over. Earlier this year, the same method used to identify King was used to catch a killer. When the Golden State Killer case broke, that was brilliant. In those cases, the DNA collected at the crime scene did not match DNA in a police database. So detectives created a profile and through genealogy identified a suspect. Is there any danger associated with it? Mm, I just can't answer that. I see nervousness among the other genealogists. It's not just you two. You have a team. We have a couple of genetics professors on our team. We have a couple of private eyes. We have a couple of um, po even police officers that are on our team. What is the goal of the DNA Doe Project? My ultimate goal is to identify every single one of those John and Jane Doe's out there in the world. They had to come from somewhere. How come we can't identify them? My goal is to identify every single one of them. So fascinating. All right, that was our Matt Johnson reporting. He tells us right now Colleen and Margaret are working on about three dozen cold cases, including some here in L.A. Mm. The cost, in case you're wondering, about $1,500 for the genealogist to solve each case. Sometimes they crowdfund for police agencies who can't afford the DNA testing. And if you would like to learn more about the DNA Doe Project, Donate, and we posted a link to the website at foxla.com.